What is going on guys? It is your boy Bio2K and today man, I'm going to be bringing you guys a video talking about how to prepare for tomorrow's content. Again, I do make this video every single week and you guys really do seem to be enjoying this type of video. So if as always, if you guys do enjoy this video, man, all I ask is that you guys do leave a like and comment down below. Comment question of the day. What card do you guys think we are going to be seeing tomorrow? Now, I know there obviously when I do like, you know, show this video and everything and I do post this, there is going to be at least one card that does get leaked, but I do want you guys to try to guess some other cards that do come out. If they do end up releasing both at the same time, it is what it is, but you guys know the deal, man. 150 likes by tomorrow, and I will be doing the Exposing the Odds video, trying to pull some more Galaxy Opals to see if it really is even possible. So, like I said, if you guys do enjoy, be sure to leave a like, and let's get into this video. Now, what's actually pretty cool is the last two weeks, I have been able to actually predict what cards we were getting. The first time, I did actually guess Galaxy Oval LeBron, Pink Diamond Kawhi, as well as Diamond Jordan and Diamond Scotty. So, the first one, we were doing pretty good. Last week, I did get Shaq and uh, Dwayne Wade right, uh, but I do feel like a lot of people guessed those because they were pretty easy. And same thing with this week, where my predictions, I feel like, are going to be something that I think is more of... You know, I, I think it's what a lot of people are going to be guessing. Um, so as you guys can tell by the thumbnail, I'm going to be guessing that we are going to be seeing a Galaxy Opal Mellow, a Galaxy Opal Kevin Durant, and or a Galaxy Opal Wilt Chamberlain. The reason why I do, you know, or I do want to guess these is simply put, this 75 set, there's a lot of really good cards that have already been released. And you guys can see that, again, a lot of the pink diamonds have been, you know, are obviously out already, and they are the top of each set. So I'm going to be guessing here that, honestly, we are going to be seeing seeing another player in the 2010s here that is going to be Kevin Durant. And I think that is going to be another Opal added to this collection. If not, I do think we are going to be seeing a Galaxy Opal Carmelo Anthony as a part of the... Um I mean, it could be, I guess, a part of the 2010s. It would make more sense for him to be a part of the 2010s. The only reason why I think he might slip in as the 2000s card is maybe for his years with Denver. I don't really know. It could, we could see it either way. Uh, but another card I do think we definitely going to be getting is going to be a Wilt Chamberlain. And I do think that that card is going to be dropping because, again, these three cards are going to be really good and really solid. The reason why, again, is because qualifiers are this weekend. And normally when the qualifiers do uh, happen they do normally throw out a card that is really good so why not get all three we might even I mean the only reason why I am guessing them to be opals is because we already have a pink diamond wilt we already have a pink diamond KD and we already have a pink diamond mellow the only thing I could see maybe outside of these guys is maybe seeing like a Chris Paul for the 2010s but I don't really think I you know or for the 2000s I mean I don't know if I want to see that either I would uh I would honestly much rather just have like a uh but I would much rather have like, you know, a guy like Melo, a guy like KD, or a guy like Will. I did just realize that probably Chris Paul would most likely be more of the 2010s as well. But anyway, uh, Kevin Durant, though, obviously, this is the last good KD card we had. I mean, I know that the Moments one did come out, but they're basically the same card. I guess the Moments one could be a little bit better, but this Mass KD is pretty solid. But the last time we got this Alter Ego set was obviously around uh, Halloween, which is in October. So it's been a while since we have seen a good Kevin Durant. As I did say, you know, there is this KD as well that, uh, you know, actually, I mean, I don't know. I guess the badges, badges wise, yeah, he is a little bit better. So I guess the moments Kevin Durant has been pretty good. But again, that was on December 13th that we did actually receive this card. Uh, you guys can see the date on the card. That is when he did the perform or whatever performance it was. Uh, he obviously did get the card on December 13th. So it's been a while since we did get a KD card. Um, and then as far as Melo goes um, and Wilt Chamberlain, uh, Melo was honestly, you know, here he was obviously the season one level 40. So we have haven't really gotten a Melo in this game in a very long time either that is another reason why i do believe that mellow is going to be one of the cards we do see relatively soon um and then finally we did also get the wilt chamberlain card which um i obviously did not end up getting because i didn't really think unlimited was worth grinding at that point i did only get gary payton because of the showdown box same thing what i'm probably going to do with j rich on my uh, other account maybe it really depends i don't really know if i'm going to be wanting to play all that unlimited as of right now probably not but we'll see what happens uh, but as far as this stuff goes, as I did say, you know, Will Chamberlain, excuse me, Will Chamberlain, again, is a card we have not seen in a very long time. So these are definitely some cards I do think we are still going to be needing here in uh, as part of these 75th sets and kind of keeping up with that. I mean, I do think a Galaxy Opal Kareem is going to be dropping relatively soon as well, but I think that he's more going to be the lock-in for one of these if I had to guess. So I really don't think it'll be Kareem. Definitely more thinking of a KD, a Mello, and a Will. 
So how should you guys be preparing for tomorrow's content? As always, as I do talk about in these videos, definitely expect some prices on these guys to drop a little bit. Now, again, because it is 250K weekend, I don't think these cards are going to be dropping all that much. However, if we do see, again, a KD and a Melo, that is going to be a small forward slash power forward. And I would definitely expect a lot of these guys like Paul George to be dropping in price. Paul George is already, I don't want to say relatively cheap, but his price is gradually going back up ever since that event did end. So I could see his price going back up for 250 but i mean his price could easily drop a little bit uh because of this content as well i could see him maybe dropping down to low 60s uh obviously because of again that content so maybe you guys want to look to you know sell him now and then buy him back when he does drop a little bit in price that is always going to be a pretty solid option a guy like sean marion who i do feel like is a pretty underrated card still in this game i could see his price dropping a little bit more as well there's not really even that many up but we could definitely be seeing a price drop with him uh, guys like Zion and Luca. I mean, we could see these guys be dropping. Luca again is a small forward slash or shooting guard slash small forward, uh, as with Zion being a power forward slash center. These guys are going to probably be dropping in price. Uh, and then finally, you know, the tis the season stuff. I mean, you do have guys like Rudy Gay and Kawhi. Kawhi is obviously still a bid. Uh, most likely the 75th version is what people are going to be going for. Um, but definitely, you know, with Rudy Gay and with, um, uh, with Rudy Gay and with Kawhi. These guys are really solid players as well that I do think could drop a little bit in price. So if you guys are hanging on to these guys, I mean, you guys might want to hold off on selling them uh, because now is definitely a bad time, I feel like, to uh, sell cards that are bids. The reason why is you're not going to be getting all that much, but if you're looking to pick one up, I mean, tonight could be potentially a really good spot to do so. I mean, I would honestly wait till tomorrow anyway, mainly because tomorrow is when, like, especially tomorrow morning when the card stats get posted and everything, that's when people just start launching up cards and by the time that their cards actually get posted on the auction and everything, um, that's when, you know, these cards are going to start selling for a lot cheaper. So, uh, you know, Bird is already relatively cheap. We did just get a James Worthy yesterday, or not yesterday, on Tuesday, which, I mean, Worthy's pretty solid, but, I mean, I don't think he's really worth anything all that crazy. Dr. J is another card that is just not Dr. J. Nope, still not Dr. J. Dr. J is another card that I feel like people do still use, and I think that you guys could see, I mean, he's sitting around that 100K mark, um, he could honestly drop a little bit in price. So maybe if you guys are looking to get his XP done or anything like that, that would be a pretty good time to scoop him up. Uh, nothing really there uh, as far as forwards go. But, you know, same thing again with guys like I already talked about uh, Kawhi, but even again, a guy like LeBron, his price is really, well, that one's obviously extra Hall of Fame badges and stuff, but his price is pretty high. I could see it dropping by maybe, you know, 100 to 50K. Maybe it drops a little bit uh, again with the, uh, if again, it is KD or Melo that does come out. On the flip side, as always, you know, when it does come to centers, I would definitely expect some other big men to go down in price, like a D-Rob. Even the Shaq that did come out, the Evo one is obviously better than the 75th one, so you would really have to pay attention more to what this card is when he does get Evoed up. He is obviously better, as I did just say, uh, but I could see his price dropping a little bit as well, because again, a lot of people are going to be looking for that new best center for these qualifiers, and Wilt could really be that guy. Do I think he'll have a jump shot? No, but I still think people are going to be focusing on you using that wilt because quite frankly i think that wilt is going to go ahead and out rebound just about anybody that has come out in recent times so i would definitely again be paying attention to that even with um wilt coming out or even if it is like a cream or anything like that i would honestly say that Giannis is going to go down in price a little bit as well uh because there are some people that i don't really understand it but there are some people that do run Giannis at center you guys know i did that for clutch time but i feel like running that as clutch time like as you can see like this is still my lineup running him at center for clutch time is entirely different than running you know Giannis at center in a limited and for like a full game I just feel like you're asking to get dominated on the glass you know that's why for my main lineup I do run him at the four so you know uh we do have obviously that situation there as well so yeah, another thing that I do want you guys to be paying attention to, as I did talk about in yesterday's video, make sure you guys are picking up some badges and picking up some, uh, you know, shoe boosts and stuff like that for cheap, because there's going to be a lot of stuff that, you know, I think is going to go up in price tomorrow. Uh, say we do get a Mellow, for instance, right? Let's take a look at this Carmelo Anthony that is uh, obviously the level 41, right? So looking at Carmelo Anthony, um, seven Hall of Fame badges, obviously, you know, do I think he'll have the exact same ones? Probably not, but you never know. But taking a look at this one, right? If you just look at the upgradable badges that this one does not have, right? That the new one could potentially get, obviously, as well, but doesn't have on it, you know, uh, badges like, uh, let's see. 
Uh, Floor General is going to be another one. Post Playmaker is low key an underrated one. Clamps is a good one. Uh, Pick Dodger, Rim Protector, Pick Pocket, Dimer, uh, Brick Wall. These are a lot of badges that I think are going to jump up in price. So maybe now would be a good time if you guys really wanted to. We'll just take a look at again a badge like Clamps. Clamps always does hold value anyway, um, but just looking at it as of right now, which you could get it for. Uh, bronze clamps, right? So it's actually still again a relatively high price But if you guys could look to snag one of these for relatively cheap, it is gonna go back up I mean you guys could kind of see that somebody's trying to price fix them for 10k enough as it is So, you know if we're just not even gonna look at clamps because as I did say clamps is a badge that I feel like um, You know always ends up going for something. So let's look at a badge like uh, Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see uh, okay, let's I'm trying to find there's one badge. I'm specifically looking for and of course I can't find it You know, we'll just go with brick wall, right? No, that's that would be teardrop or not brick wall So taking a look at brick wall here I mean you guys can see it's actually going for relatively cheap if you know say even Wilt. I mean I highly doubt Wilt doesn't have it But say Wilt for whatever reason doesn't I could definitely see you know The silver one jumping up in price the gold one jumping up in price So investing in shoes for guys like Mello and KD and even Wilt, you know going again to 2k DB where they do show you guys You know they do have the uh, ability to show you, you know what shoe different players wear and stuff like that so having you know investing in certain shoes for these players investing in um you know maybe diamond contracts for these players shoe boost badges it is all really important what you guys should be looking to do for tomorrow so like I said, do what you guys can. Stock up on MT. If I had to tell you guys a game mode to be grinding um, until tomorrow, man, uh, I mean, I, I would honestly say probably... I mean, honestly, at this stage, I would probably just say clutch time. It's probably the best thing you can grind until tomorrow. The limited requirements did get dropped as well. I do want to bring that up for a free Sapphire Kendall Gill. I don't know why they're going backwards because last week was an Amy, but it is what it is. Got to win. Uh, you actually are allowed to use two pink diamonds, two Amy's, and then the rest have to be Sapphires and below, so... Another interesting week for a limited, I guess. Either way, thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you guys did enjoy. And uh, yeah, peace.